Hey guys, and welcome back to Brad Tragic, and today I got a movie review for you today. I know, I, I, I take a break for the movies, I do a lot of music, and then I come back to the movies. Kind of stop, I didn't really do too many music, but I do, I got a couple reviews I'm, I'm working on. I do have one done, one done on the computer, but I got to kind of refresh myself since I took so long to review it. That's one you guys kind of ask, somebody asked for I gotta gotta refresh myself on that. Won't have to do too much refreshing, but that'll could be up probably. Uh, I may do that tomorrow. I may review that tomorrow. Uh, but you'll probably get this before. You'll get this in a couple in in the, the day after I'm saying this. So <laughs> it'll probably be a day after I do this one. Um, anyways, uh, today we were talking about a movie called Clifford. It's a movie. I don't remember what year it came out. Uh, I want to say 93, 95, 96, somewhere in that area. The mid-90s, maybe a little past. And uh, Martin Short, which in the mid-90s, Martin Short had a lot of great funny movies. Uh, cheesy, but very, very hilarious movies um, come out. And I, I hope pure luck comes on the one of the streaming things because it's so hilarious um and i remember it pretty pretty clearly so i may review it anyway um because i remember pretty vividly what the movie was about so i may review that here in the coming uh, weeks i'll talk about that movie um, but today we're talking about clifford so clifford is a movie that you know it opens up with uh barton short uh an older gentleman and he's talking about how you know, you see him walking around and, he, and they show a sign at the beginning of the movie saying, you know, it's a, for under, basically it's a, what do you call that? They call it something in, in the movie. It's basically for underprivileged or troubled youths that like to get in trouble and things like that. But it's another name. They usually call the homes for or whatever. And, um, but, so he's at this place and he's an older guy. And this kid who ends up being Ben Savage uh, from uh, Boy Meets World fame, I guess he ends up, you know, later in a few years after this, ends up getting that show um, and being in Little Monsters and so many other fame, uh, you know, after this movie. And I don't know if this came after Little Monsters. It may actually have been after Little Monsters. Um, but he's sitting down there telling the telling story to Ben Savage, and he's you know, telling him how a troublemaker he was, and he gets a little bit through the story, and then Ben, like, acts like it's the end of the story, he's like, sit down, that's not even half of it, and he continues to tell him the whole story, and basically goes on this, and it's basically about this, Martin Short plays this little boy who uh, is infatuated with dinosaurs, infatuated with this place called Dinosaur World, and he desperately wants his parents to take him to Dinosaur World, and they're on this airplane at the beginning of the movie, and he's trying to get the pilot to land, uh, and I think it was L.A. where it's at, in L.A. to, to see Dinosaur Land, and <laughs> all a bunch of comedy ensues, he tries to, and he eventually gets in the land, it, it's crazy, it's so, it's so outlandish though, but he's like a really, really troubled kid in the movie, it's, it's really, really hilarious, it's, you can't really say much about it without giving stuff away, and to ruin from everything but you would think it would come off kind of awkward but it's a kind it's an awkward that works and you, you would never think because I mean you think about the Martin Short at this time and at this time in his life he's probably in his late 30s early 40s I think and he's playing this kid and the way they have him in costume and everything like that like it's he it's awkwardness completely but it, it works because he's so funny and his comedy is so, so great. And there's people you know uh, in the movie, but I just can't. I think Richard Dreyfus is the one guy, and he was in like Spin City and some other stuff. I think that's him that plays his actual dad. And then his, his uncle, who he's with for the majority of the movie, uh, you would know him too because I think it's the guy. Is it the guy from Beethoven? He was in some other movie. You know if you see him. Uh, but anyway, so so Clifford, it's available on, uh, I think it was on 
Tubby, Tubi TV. I think I watched it on there. Um, such a great movie, though. It's an awesome movie. That's so when I seen it on there. I'm like, oh, I gotta watch it. Because it's one of those movies that I watched, like, multiple times. I don't know if it was on TV or if it was... I think I, I rented it a few times. It was one of those movies that, for some reason, I rented it multiple times. And I think... I, I think one of the reasons why I watched it more than one time was that my mom would go get movies sometimes without me, and she picked up picked up the movie one time, and I remember saying, "Oh, I've already seen that," and then she's like, "Oh," and she seemed disappointed, so I watched it with her again because <laughs> she hadn't seen it. Uh, so that's why I seen it again, and you know, of course, she didn't like it because Martin Short's humor is kind of I don't know if it's more guy related, but it seems like it's more guy related uh, to me. For some girls, this might not get it because of the stupid things that he does. Um, so, I don't know. I have no idea what girls would perceive of this movie. Because I I, some people, I, I think some, I think Martin Short's funniness doesn't really, I think women sometimes don't get it for some reason. Because every time I mention like movies with Martin Short and things like that, it seems like, you know, a lot of girls have no idea who Martin Short is or when I talk about a movie, they've never seen it. So it's almost like those older movies with Martin Short, like no, none of the girls checked them out. Uh, or if it was, it was like an older, you know, person that was, you know, in that area was an adult and watched the movies then because they knew what Martin Short had done. Um, but it seems Martin Short's kind of a hit or miss kind of a guy. Either you like him or you don't like him. Uh, but Martin Short has some great movies that if you haven't checked out them, you should definitely look them up definitely worth watching they're they're not nothing that's going to be like super spectacular you know i don't know if he had he had like a groundbreaking role in a movie i really don't think it's as far as i can think i can't think of any role that's been like completely outstanding was he in i think he was in three musketeers uh who trying to think who was in Bill Mus three musketeers martin short chevy chase steve martin yes so they were in three amigos together that's probably one of the most popular roles that he's probably had. Um, and that's a pretty good movie, too, he was in. So and I haven't seen that in a long time. I used to own that. I used to watch Three Amigos all the time, too. Uh, so it was pretty funny. Uh, but that's all I really got to say about Clifford. It's it's on Tubby, Tubi TV, T-U-B-I TV. If you have the Roku or you have uh, Xbox or PlayStation, you can download the app. And check out some free movies on there. Uh, they have ads, kind of like Crackle, but they're not as bad as Crackle. So definitely worth checking out. I'll probably do a review on uh, Tubi TV after I watch a few more. I probably could do a review. I'll probably do a review someday and talk about it a little bit. Or maybe I'll talk about it in the next vlog I do. Uh, so make sure to check that out. And I'll tell you, kind of tell you about what I think about that and everything like that. Um, but, I mean, it kind of works when I do a separate review. So maybe I'll do like a separate review one day. And do it put up as like an extra video or something to talk more what do i think about it because um, i do think it's better than crackle uh definitely because their ads are outrageous sometimes the ads like flip out in the movie sometimes so anyways uh like comment subscribe all the good jazz down below keep rocking and keep on watching movies i'll catch you later